the stage one and two patient population represents the largest group of patients with melanoma, and these are the patients that are diagnosed with melanoma on their skin without any obvious evidence of spread elsewhere, spread being either to lymph nodes or elsewhere in the body. And the stage one and two patient population is very important because it is such a large group of patients, but also can have varying uh, risks for recurrence after surgery based on very specific prognostic factors. And these are factors that are identified under the microscope uh, by the uh, uh, pathologist who examines the primary tumor that's been removed from the skin. Now what's changed in this current staging system that's going to be rolled out is that certain factors have been identified and the most important factors are how thick the tumor is under the microscope, whether or not the tumor has ulceration, and now a new factor has emerged called mitotic rate, which kind of gives the, the pathologist or the physician uh, treating you an assessment of how rapidly the melanoma cells are growing, and this new factor, which is called mitotic rate, is measured by how many mitotic figures you see under the microscope per a volume of the melanoma that's, that's being examined under the microscope. And this is now incorporated into the staging system, so it's important that when you talk to your physician about your new diagnosis, that a template has been used to define all the important prognostic factors that would have an influence on your individual prognosis and therefore have an impact on what kind of surgery is going to be recommended for you.